have a question from people on dating apps. Since when the girls have to start the conversation? I understand some apps make the girls start the conversation. That's another story. I'm talking about the ones the guy are allowed to start a conversation with you and they just don't. When we change that the guys have to have the initiative to talk to girls because I don't like that. I'm pretty much on my feminine energy and I still think the guys have to come up to you and say hey and show interest like have always been. When does that happen? And also, is that an ego thing? Like people just match with you to bust their ego because you're hot and you like them? Guys with initiative, talk to me. I have a well, first of all, let's, let's keep it a buck. You have a lot of attention. You don't need to be on dating apps to get that. But the problem probably is, is the guys that you want are not the ones sending you messages because they're smarter than what you think they are and they're not going to play your game. That's pretty much what it is. Second, secondly, guys are tired of approaching women and getting no kind of response, especially on dating apps. You know how many women sit on messages on dating apps? I've seen women in person. I've asked them to see their phone. And every single one I've seen, 300 messages, 200 messages. And I'm asking them, did you respond? No. So it's not like women are not being uh, getting attention and not getting messages. They're choosing not to respond to certain men. She's only mad because, or asking this question, I should say, because the guys that she wants is not approaching her. And, you know, guys, you know, a lot of men are just sick and tired of this whole super chase game because it's beyond just the chase game. It's super chase. Men are tired of it. All of the dating apps, all of social media is predominantly dominated by women. All of this stuff was made for women. Who gossips the most? Who wants the attention? Who shares pictures the most? Women. Women have ruined dating apps because they've turned it into a big game. The only guys that are going to fall for it are the simps. And these are the guys that these women don't want. These are the men that they don't want in their messages. These are the men that sit in the friend zone, that sit in the messages hoping to get a response. So that is what she's talking about. It's not like she doesn't have a bunch of guys approaching her on dating sites or even in person. Now, in person, she probably has a lot of attention, but she could walk around with the resting bitch face. She could walk around with the snooty attitude like she's all that. She can walk around and portray herself as not approachable, all those type of things. Because, you know, hey, you have to understand, ladies, we live in a day and a time to where men have to be very careful of how they approach women on any kind of level. You have to be careful even if you want to offer to pump a woman's gas because all these women, a lot of them, I should say, they think that men always have ulterior motives. Men can't just be nice just because they're nice and respectful and caring human beings. There always has to be a motive. You hear women say all the time, well, he's just being nice because he wants this or he wants that. So guys are getting tired of that. There's guys that have went to jail just for being nice to women. You know, there are guys that try to save women that end up in jail. So it's not as easy for men to approach women. But see, women think it's think it is because they're constantly being approached. It's not as easy to do that for men. You got to know how to talk to women. You got to be careful what you say to women. You see what I'm saying? You can't be creepy. You can't do all these things. Women don't have to do that. All women have to do is just exist. Hell, they could walk outside and not even open up their mouth. And they're going to get approached, especially if they're attractive. See, so it's a completely different ballgame. I don't believe that she's not being approached and, you know, all this stuff. And one thing I will say, this is not traditional times, ladies. You can't keep expecting men to do, to do traditional things or to approach you in a traditional way. When you're not traditional. How are men supposed to know that you're even interested? And another thing you have to understand is that this is how a lot of people date now. Dating apps. There's nothing traditional about dating apps. Back in the day, during the super traditional times, women would indicate to men that they're interested by the smallest gesture. 
what gestures do women have now? You can't give a gesture on a dating app, right? You can't give a wink on a dating app. You can't give a certain smile on a dating app. You can't look back at someone when you walk by them on a dating app. So men are just having to go by the pictures and all the stuff that they see. And 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 speaking on the pictures, what do men see when they go on dating apps? I'll just use Bumble as, as an example. If you go on Bumble and you look at the women that are on there, a great majority of them lead with their sexuality. That's one thing. Another thing that they do is they lead with this super lu luxurious lifestyle. They're taking pictures on yachts. They're taking pictures in mansions. They're taking pictures as they travel the world. They're taking pictures as they're at this expensive restaurant. They're taking a picture with all the Louis Vuittons and all the red bottoms and all these things. They're portraying themselves like that. Because they want to attract men like that. So what happens when the guys that are average, that are not living that lifestyle, approaches them? Oh, they just let them stay in the messenger list. They don't respond because they're not the ones that they want. But they will make videos like this and say, why don't they approach me? Look, I'm going to put it to you like this, ladies, just so you know. If a guy is wealthy... He has everything going on for himself. He has resources. He has all that. He's not going to be on dating sites. He doesn't need to be. He doesn't need to chase women. He has options. So stop going on dating sites trying to find that. And as a byproduct of that, making average men feel like they're not worthy. Because that's what you do. Remember back in the day when selfies first started, guys? When women would per, would degrade men for taking a, a selfie in the bathroom with a, a tank top on. Remember that? Remember that big complaint that women would have? Oh, you're in the bathroom. You're taking a sel selfie. You're, you must be worthless. Right? But what do you see now? Women in the bathroom in selfies. Women showing off their bodies. Women trying to portray, portray this lifestyle that they really don't have, like all these pictures that you see on Bumble and stuff like that. And one last thing I will say, because this just popped in my mind. Those yacht pictures, right? <laughs> when you see women on the yachts and with those pictures, the first thing I say, because I'm a photographer, right? So I'm always looking at pictures kind of differently than a lot of people. I'm looking at like angles and height and, you know, light and all that type of stuff. And every single time I look at those pictures, I can tell that the majority of the time, a man took the picture. But these women will take those pictures, even if they're on a date somewhere. I mean, they might have went on a date with the guy there that's interested in them or something, right? They take those pictures and use them to attract other men. The next time you see those pictures, think about that and ask yourself, Who's taking that picture? Anyway, that's all I have to say about this video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. And with that said, I am out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.